All right. I I kind of mentioned some of this last video. I did. And I wanted to go just a little bit more in detail as far as what this 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 whole ordeal of my thoughts. It goes back into some of the things that I that I've been saying before. I'm gonna tie it back. Y'all know how I take my time with it. But for those that have not heard about this, definitely those of you that aren't like into sports or football or anything like that, Oklahoma State coach um Mike Gundy wore a you know, one American news network, OAN, which is a more conservative um, news network. It's not even that old. And he wore a shirt and it just triggered the oblivion out of, out of um, basically one of his players pointed it out, I believe. And then it just triggered the oblivion out of everybody else. And they're talking about it's insensitive, all this other nonsense. And I sat and watched Max Kellerman um, and Stephen A and some other dirtbag. Uh, sit here and just lecture everybody on on that. And what I want to point out to you, guys, I'm not even here to defend One America Network because the fact of the matter is, and you know, I'm not going to defend, defend conservatives, but the fact of the matter <clears throat> is that it wouldn't have mattered what shirt he had. It could have been a Fox shirt. It could have been a Blaze TV shirt. It would have been the same damn result as in someone would have got upset triggered the oblivion out of tough football players and and people that are within the industry, be it commentators and so forth. But the main thing that I want to point out to you before I show you how hypocritical everybody is on this, the main thing that I want to point out is that when it comes to a lot of these subcultures, this this is certainly in football and sports, it's such a lopsided conversation. The main reason I did the video because Mike, 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 Mike Gundy made the, Silly mistake of apologizing for it, for wearing the shirt. He said, oh, I didn't know how they felt about Black Lives Matter and all of this other stuff. Because, again, there's only one opinion that, that, that's, that you can have here. But it's one side. It's one side it when it comes to a lot of these different subcultures. As far as the proper and what is deemed acceptable in terms of your political and social views, period. It has to lean to the left. It. it to pretend that it's otherwise is being dishonest, but you have to lean to the left. And if you don't, certainly if you go the other way, they have an issue with it. It's a bizarre thing because all they've done is sort of started freaking out, clutching pearls at the idea that this man would wear a shirt that, uh, that depicts a more conservative network. Now, if he had an MSNBC shirt, would that have been fine? Of course. Huffington Post, what have you, would have been fine. Of course it would have been fine. It would have been perfectly fine. But this is a pretty staunch conservative one. That is a no-no. Because the guys on the left, definitely in their mainstream left, they have all the right ideas. It's perfectly fine. Perfectly acceptable. And they expect you to cater to their, and I'm talking about they as in people that are within whatever subculture. Expect you to be open. Expect you to listen. Expect you to, dare I say, actually embrace whatever view top to bottom that it is that they have. They don't offer you that same leeway, even if they don't agree or whatever they don't offer you that same leeway. It is a completely one-sided thing. I've experienced this. Well, hell, I just did a video talking about the whole alternative precedent in our politics. It's just one-sided. And in the event that you deviate from that, they will dig up whatever dirt that they can to sit up here and say, oh, this person was on this network. They had a view that isn't what we embrace, which is black lives matter. Good. Which is pretty much the generic position of that. And dare to be insensitive dare You actually see someone as a grown ass. Look, these guys, oh, guys in college, I don't care. Grown ass folk. Dare they see someone else with different political views or different political views being depicted. 
because you think you just inherit the truth. You just think that you inherit righteousness. So it wouldn't have mattered what shirt he had. It just wouldn't. It was a more popular network, more known network with conservative guys that are polarizing. If it was on the other side, it would have it would have been no problem. We wouldn't even be talking about that. And I have the receipts that prove that because this damn thing got covered within the same time frame. This was put out June 15th by the same damn network who I just watched bitching and moaning. And I watched it on Twitter because I ain't watching. I'm not watching any of this. Uh, any of these weirdos. Uh, like I can't do sports now. I can't even do sports now. The stuff I used to enjoy is just. Social justice, social justice. I don't got time for that. Begging white folk to accept them, begging for access to their resources, saying they got to do something, and and, and and just nonsense. Here we go. Saints, Malcolm Jenkins joins CNN as a contributor on social justice issues. Is Max Kellerman bitching right now about him joining, like not depicting a shirt? Actually joining this fake ass news network who has been caught in numerous amounts of uh, accounts more so of being dishonest in terms of how they approach news. They've been caught. This is why they call them, why we call them fake news. And it's not just anything that's exclusively to the people on the right. We call them libertarians, call them fake news because they good for it. But nobody is griping about Malcolm Jenkins actually joining as a contributor, not just having a shirt, right? Because as far as I know, Mike Gundy doesn't actually work for One American News Network. This this dude actually joined CNN. Anybody griping about that? Hell, CNN has way more power to... to to influence because they're way more they're pop more, more more excuse me they are more popular they are more popular and because of that they have more influence more power so when they report something and it's a half no nah, you can't call it a half truth they kind of lean one way or, or they want to protect this sort of particular narrative in terms of how they report because we know they lean to the left right that's we know that But nonetheless, a football player in the NFL joins as a contributor to that news network. I'm not even knocking a man for doing that. That's his business. He is free to do that. What I'm trying to point out to you guys is how this clearly leans to the, when they talk about diversity and inclusivity, it's not by way of political or social positions. Okay. It's not by way of political or social views. It's slanted one way deviation of it. Definitely going the opposite way. Any sort of view on that. They see you as a threat they clutch their pearls. They oh, they faint couch because God forbid someone else have a different political or social view than you. But again, this this is how this I talk to you guys about this, about when even with the Black Lives Matter thing, which, again, as I, as they keep proving my point, is just a freaking movement at this point surrounded around surrounded around. <laughs> Begging to be accepted and begging to be included in white folks' affairs. Begging to be accepted and acknowledged by white people. It's for losers, man. And all of their pundits say the same same thing. God forbid someone else have a, uh, um, a different position than they do because they think that they inherit the truth. They think that they inherit righteousness. And if you are against us, then you must want black people dead or something you're insensitive or just some stupid stuff. But this is buffoonery. Now, again, like I said, they show themselves to be hypocrites on this. And let I'm not even mad at Malcolm Jenkins for doing that. I, I, I'm willing to bet I don't agree with what he what he's going to propose in solutions um, or even pray, but maybe on the overall deal. But I'm OK, at least with the ideas being out there and let's debate them and let's have a discussion 
um, and whatnot. And if that's what he wants to do is contrib- what I'm do- what I'm specifically referencing. Right. That's the whole point of the video is I'm pointing out how rigged this game is. And how everything is slanted one way. That's just what it is. They feel as if that is the acceptable view. And this is why I did my last video. I talked about this. It's going to continue to ramp up. Everybody's history is going to be documented. And anything that deviates from what they deemed as the acceptable narrative is going to be considered a threat. And they will do whatever they got to do to beat you or into submission, more so. So you got to adopt their views. This is, and apologizing does absolutely nothing for you because there's not going to change. They just want you to peddle their particular narrative. And again, I'm not here to defend one American network, not here to defend their commentators. I'm just pointing out to you guys, whoever thinks that, well, I'm just a guy just peddling on these conspiracies and stuff in terms of how I acknowledge the fact that this, this leans more so one way. You can't tell me that dog. Cause that's not what this is. It leans heavily to the one, to one way. And generally uh, a lot of them, if not all of them <laughs> prominent subcultures, entertainment art. I told y'all it was about to be unbearable. This man sent people to the, trigger box for wearing a damn t-shirt of another network unbelievable